Hello there. Welcome back to another video of me, William Rumsey HD. Welcome back, guys. And today is yet again another karting video. And you may recall uh, the last video was, um, uh, yeah, uh, it was Brighton cutting in the wet. But it's a couple of days after, and Scott wants to go for a time session. And uh, yeah, I'm going to Brighton again to do some karting. I, uh, this is a part two to um, the Brighton, uh, normal Brighton karting video. So um, it's part uh, Brighton karting in the dry. So uh, yeah, we're going uh, obviously tomorrow. The, I'm doing the intro now so I don't forget it in the morning. So um, it's good, it's nice. I'm gonna have the camera again, everything's on the computer ready to go and uh, the compute, the, both uh, cameras are white. In meaning that all the footage is on the computer so I can edit them at a later date when they go out but we are ready to go for another carton session my arms are absolutely killing me because of the rain but Scott wants to go and I how rude sorry about that <laughs> um, I would just uh, edit the Formula 1 video in the background but yeah guys we are Obviously going to Brighton, um, Shan's with us this time, so obviously Boo and Shan Cam is coming back. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I'm going to cut to when we when we either get there or on the way there. Goodbye now! Hello! Good Cam. Don't want to eat it. We get dinner when we get home. Yeah. Are you filming? Hello there. New angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a YouTuber now. I'm going to twist them. I'm going to twist them. I'm going to go and get changed now, bro. Uh, yeah. It's going to run that much more quick. Huh? <laughs> Why are you doing Move up the bit, get the shot. <coughs> I want to see how much better it is. It's a bit off. So. Hello. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quite go on, G. I'm going to hurt you. Quite for me, yeah? Cheers, spread out. <coughs> <coughs> Oi! I'm shit. 
Yeah. Check in how much battery I've got. Should be enough. Well, you come on now. 96 percent. Is he still going? Yeah. 96 percent, That's basically how it's got to fit on. Oh, sorry. Like that, Will. Can you show the camera your, 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 I'm going to cook my channel now, isn't it? There's a thing on Amazon you can buy with a remote. It'll be sitting on it like that, and you can do it to you. Look. Yeah, but the briefing. Yeah. I'll probably set it off. Don't pour it on me. I'm not going to pour it on me. No, don't. I'm really happy. So don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's in with the, the mic. Just try it. Uh, I'll try not to. Don't pour it on me. I'll leave you in the capable <laughs> hands of the editor and co directors. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, now. Right, yeah. so Scott just having a chin oh, wag. We're going on, it's a full, I think, skill level is we've got some experience and stuff like that. Um, and there's some rookies, so we should have some fun. So, um, yeah, get ready to go. Get ready for some scenes. Come on! Look at him in the zone. Huh? Well, Well, what's up guys, welcome back to another karting video and today we're at Brighton Dry as obviously uh, the clips beforehand. Um, today we are testing ourselves in the dry at Brighton and uh, we've just started the session and uh, I believe I've got a pretty decent car as we're already sending it, making moves down the inside. We've, at the moment we've got so much grip and as you can obviously see here, um, I love to. I love a flying start at the start of the session. It always uh, gets me going. As we're gonna go to a, a boot camp, and uh, we're gonna go round the outside of the um, one of the ladies that was in the session. And the, the quickest guy on track actually got caught up by her. As we're going through the pit section here, he's right behind me, and he's gonna make a move on me. We just go out a bit too wide here and he's 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 unreal he's really really quick so we're just going to try and follow him here and see what we can do we're going to come across the line here for our first timed lap and we're just going to see if we can follow i didn't catch his name in the brief but we're just going to see if we can follow as a slower car in front another we nearly connect with each other here that i think you he finished second, the guy in front of us in, in the session. But honestly, we nearly had, we nearly collided there. But thought much better of it. Obviously, the lap's going to be a bit slower. But as you can see, I don't know if you guys realise, but all the time, as I send a move down the outside of the, um, the car in front, just in front of me, um, I'm always obviously always moving my hands. I don't know why I visit like obviously they do uh, ache a lot during during sessions but um, as you can see that lap was a 48 that was a 48 um, uh, sorry it was 49 flat so obviously we're gonna go better we're gonna go get the timer on again 
and uh, we're just going to see what we can do. This is, seems to be a bit of a better better lap because we're obviously out in the open. Obviously, Scott uh, went out in front of us, so um, basically, obviously we're chasing him, so he's basically not past us yet. So the my um, objective for this session is not to let him pass. Even if it is a time session, everybody's trying to get quicker times. We are not going to let him pass as we go to Buka. And these angles are really, really sick. As we're going to get a 48 here. Uh, so it was quicker. As we go two laps down the line, we've got a gaggle of cars scrapping with each other. So hopefully it doesn't hold us up too much. And um, one goes wide, send it down the inside. The other two are having a scrap. So hopefully I'll be able to dispatch of these as quickly as possible. Uh, this is the lady we passed earlier, so we're going to lap her. Decent little move, go to the inside, very nice move there, and uh, get move done. Um, we, I feel really, I feel quite quick in this session, but obviously at one point I was seventh fastest, and uh, Scott was uh, Scott was sixth fastest for the whole session, as we're going to go for another time lap and I was seventh for a period of time but obviously people got quicker laps that just quicker laps than me so I got demoted down to ninth but it's get I'm getting there it's getting there I'm getting quicker I'm getting closer to Scott and um, that's all we can hope for so if we can if we can book onto the club 73 in Brighton we'll, we'll be starting at the front but we're giving us the best chance in the uh, to basically see what we're made of in this session so um, obviously the guys in Club Center 3 are going to be like 10 times quicker than what obviously we're dealing with now but Ayo we're just going to get our heads down and see what we can do obviously we've done this in the wet we do a 47.6 as we go to a couple laps later passing some back markers and um, it was good as we're going to go side by side with the guy in the black helmet here uh, these uh, two guys were absolutely battling um, throughout the session. I send it down the inside, get the move done, but he gets the cut back on us. Because uh, these guys, look, there's nothing of them. Look, they're so quick in the straight line. We tried to get the cut back again, didn't get the traction off the corner. We're at least halfway through his car, but he's made the he's got the move done. And look, look at look how much he's pulling away already. And that isn't because my car is is bad it's because obviously the extra timber I've got on me at the moment but Ayo we had a little bit of a scrap we did uh, make, a, uh, make a move so um, we're gonna see um, if we can stay with him and see if we can catch back up but it's been a good start to the session we've got a feel for the track already even though we did it in the wet but this time uh, you can see everything around you there's another as his friend has passed me now the guy that was uh, a car in front of us he's even quicker so we tried to get the, the switch back on him and we didn't even get nowhere near close so it's just a case that we're going to be um, trying to follow him now and uh, it looks like they're going to be going up in the distance as the guy in the blue in the black helmet with the blue neck support um, he went a bit wide as we go to another boot camp these camera angles I'm getting, well, uh, the, the girls are getting are absolutely amazing. As we're going a couple laps later, we're actually, we're chasing the guy in the black helmet in front and we're, we've got a back marker between us and the back marker goes wide and we're going to just go, try to go around the outside. We shouldn't have really have done that. We should have really st um, slowed down a bit earlier. We send it down the inside. What an absolute move that is. If I can perform scenes like this, in Club 73 in October, like, I'll be I'll be all right. But then again, we don't know if we're going to get on. But you know, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Uh, we'll just have to wait till November for the next one. But here we go, guys. It's I'm I'm really enjoying the session. Um, it it we I did want to do it in the dry, but obviously uh, I did want to do it in the dry. I said that <laughs> I said that twice. Sorry, guys. I did want to do it in the dry, but obviously I didn't know if I had the money, but Shannon, absolute legend, paid for it for me. Uh, honestly, she's a bloody legend, and um, obviously I've got the chance I got the chance to do it. So she's an absolute bloody legend, and um, yeah. 
it was uh, it was really really good. As we're coming up to the lady, um, we're gonna uh, lap her again. She's got she um, she was having quite a tough session here because I believe she was getting pulled into the pits for doing noughties as we change direction here and we uh, we just get we just get past it without creating an accident and um, we go to a couple of laps later we are chasing the guy in the black helmet again um, I can't remember exactly if it is the guy that passed us earlier on in the session but we've been chasing him for a couple of laps now as we go to another time we, to the stopwatch and um, we get a, we're going quicker. We're, like, we're not going too much quicker, but there's parts of the track where I'm where I'm improving on, which uh, which is good. Which is good. That's what, is what we need uh, going forward in um, my karting. Well, I'd say my karting career. So I know we've only done one actual uh, foot, like one race. And um, yes, we come last, but I believe in these karts. I could maybe do something better. Because obviously the carts that we use at Red Lodge, I think there was something really, really wrong with them. Because um, I was not quick at all. But I feel like we can, as we go for a 47.1, that was our is our quickest lap at the moment. And um, if anyone down in the comments can let me know if uh, there's a way I can get the stopwatch to stop and stop on screen, uh, that would be very much appre appreciated. So you guys can see what time. I've got at the end it, there's no way of really stopping it so I'm gonna have to see what I can do as we go to another n another off ball cam really good scenes I look the thing is on these camera shots it looks slow but when you've got the GoPro footage and the POV you look pretty pretty quick as we're gonna we're coming up to the guy in the helmet now we've been chasing him for about four laps and he goes wide um, down at the, the long um, right hander we're setting him up for a move go down the inside it was a really really easy move because I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna fight a lot more I know it was a time session but I thought we was gonna have a scrap but I just caught him and well, sent him down the inside very good. left but I think by this time it's like two two and a half minutes something like that left so we are gonna set ourselves up the last lap we're not we're going full throttle but we're just basically setting us up I didn't know it was the last lap but I thought I'd do a bit of a cool down lap to set us up for this next flying lap I was experimenting with some lines as well I'd basically from that lot that's kind of a hairpin there I'd swing to the left and quickly swing right uh, to basically get a, a slingshot into the next corner so here we go guys last lap of the session this is for all the marbles can I move up places in this time session as um, Scott is two car two cars behind us so there's another there's a car and another car and then him and he is not far away from basically lapping us but at the, we can see him because we're looking behind at the moment but we have, we've had, we're having a pretty decent lap here, and um, this is actually scenes we're gonna um, do our objective as we go a bit out wide here. The lady's getting lapped again. The guy in the white helmet's absolute fire. I believe it, if he wasn't there, I could have sent it into the chicane a little bit quicker. But 47.09 to finish out the session that solidifies ninth place as you can see 
one, two carts, and then Scott's behind me. I love to keep this footage in because I love to do the um, the footage coming in from the pit, uh, coming in from the session. Shan did have some footage on her phone, but obviously she was asleep when I was editing this, so um, I couldn't get it. But it was just me, like um, with my hands up. But yeah, a very decent session. And obviously Scott's right behind us. And as you can see, he was saying to us, yeah, I nearly got you, but we just about stayed in front today, which was good. I was surprised to keep up with them, them two at the end. I was on it. I was going to myself, like when, uh, when the guy in the white helmet in the green suit came up behind me, I was like, we'll let him pass, please. <laughs> Did you have fun? Mm. You look very sweaty. Eh? You look very sweaty. Right guys, I'm sorry I didn't film earlier on. We got back, had a lovely dinner prepared uh, for us. Uh, we had roast dinner, current absolute legend. And uh, I've been home for hours. It is currently 1.15 in the morning and I am absolutely knackered. I've been doing basic paperwork for work and I've just been watching Syndicate's like massive unboxing video like for all these PO books and um, I'm not, I've been playing a bit of Formula 1 as well but I can't seem to get on with the Formula 1 online I really can't just keep getting taken out and stuff like that but yeah um, I'm going to sign off this um, this Rumsey Sunday vlog and just want to say love you guys you're absolute legends and yeah we did all right today we did we did all right we got nine fat 14 but the main consistent thing is that we was having consistent laps in the 47s um i need to get a bit quicker i need to at least get down to a 45 or a 44 to be competitive for the 21st of october obviously if i have the money to get it for the next event because I'm so, I'll be starting from the front, so um, that's going to be hard. But we can just be a rolling roll block for everybody else, and we'll just give it a go. Like, but yeah, I'm going to go now. Thank you for everyone for all the support. Thank you for Boo and Chan as well for doing the filming. Um, now that Shan's edited some of the videos the idea I can spend a lot more time on these ones to make them look sick and I've already looked at some of the footage from the camera and I positioned it better today and it looks absolutely unreal so guys I'm gonna go now probably gonna get something to eat again have an old cup of tea finish watching Syndicate and probably go to bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning ah. but I'll do this to myself but guys like comment subscribe smack the bell down below Thank you guys for all the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, y'all.